What's up, Terry Tots? Welcome or welcome back if you're a real one. It's your girl Tati back at it with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about routines. So let's get into it. The first thing that I always like to do is to figure out what I want and why. And this is when you're planning anything that you want to plan, right? So let's think about if you want to go to the gym okay why do i want to go to the gym because i want to look good why do i want to go to the gym because i want to be healthy or because everybody everywhere is saying i want to go to uh, i should go to the gym you get what i'm saying um thinking about well why do i want to lose weight is it because you actually want to lose weight or is it because of society like is it even that important that's what this part helps you with and it helps you really to prioritize things because as you think about why do I want this you talk about like oh I want a new car I want this type of car or something or I want to say why just because people told you to what makes this a priority and that way when you go on to these next steps you don't have to worry about that during these next steps you can really focus on getting your priorities and seeing like what's important and why now for number two the next thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to look at everything that you that you put on the list and think about in the frequency in which that you would do those things so as far as working out let's say that's your goal you want to work out um or my goal with skincare okay well working out are you doing it twice a day are you doing it three times a week um are you doing your skincare everything in the morning are you doing it in the morning and night what is the frequency is it something that you're going to be doing weekly like maybe you're saying you want to hang out with your friends more that's something that you want to put into your routine you want to um create two videos a week or something like that okay so how often are you doing or creating or doing that act and that's really important because that takes us to the next step which is step three i know we <laughs> we are running through this right so step three is to create a daily schedule, which is why I'm asked, I asked you to think about all those things that you would do daily, because that's where you take, you look at your schedule and you take those things. So we're not focused on things we're doing monthly. I don't know if y'all keep the airplane, but child, I'm filming. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so all the things that you're doing monthly, weekly, three times a week, we're shoving that away. We're going to be focusing on our daily schedule. Now, there are two ways that you could do this, um, depending on where you're at, right? You could be looking at your schedule right now and what's realistic, or let's say you're into revamping your life. When you're into re re when you're into revamping your life, you don't want to think about okay, what do what is my week looking like now? What does my day look like right now? You want to look at what do you want your day to look like in the future, okay? But you still want to be realistic. So, for example, and the reason why I like to write this out and write down a daily schedule because, for example, let's say you have, you want to work out, you want to read, you want to do this, you want to um, exercise, you want to make sure you cook one meal every day. Um, all those things that you're putting on your list, right? So, let's say you're saying, you know what, I want to wake up, I want to work out. I want to make sure I cook breakfast. I want to make sure that I not only do my skincare, intense skincare, but I want to make sure that I do a full beat, all of this before you go to work, okay? But let's say you got to be at work at 7 o'clock. Even if you wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, if you're really focused and doing all of this, all of that is not going to fit into those two hours, with including your, your commute. You get what I'm saying? So you really need to look at what's realistic maybe you're gonna have to push some of that stuff till you gonna look at all that stuff and be like you know what i could work out during my break or i could work out when i come home or i could read you know i could sit, spend that time when i come home everything doesn't have to be just in the morning i know we see all these fabulous beautiful morning routines where the girls wake up at 5 a.m and they do all the things but for some of us that's just not realistic you're not even a morning person you like to roll out the bed 30 minutes before you gotta leave out so let's be realistic with what we actually want our schedule and our day to look like if you have things daily that you can't fit into your schedule that's okay okay if it's like i don't know when i'm gonna do this i don't know if i want to do this in the morning or at night those are the things that okay well as long as it's done before i go to sleep as long as it's done before i go to sleep no matter what time it's done then that's cool if you say you want to read for 30 minutes and you end up reading 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes during your break, 10 minutes in the afternoon, then that's fine. You're going to have some things that you only do at um, 
at night or in the morning, but you're also going to have those things that's in between that's completely fine as well because, again, that still adds variety to you so that you're not bored. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to be bored um, or thinking about, hmm, hmm. Why does every day feel the same? It's not going to feel the same because it's still going to be different things, but you still have that base structure. Now that you have that down, you need to think about your high days, your low energy days, and your non-negotiables. What does that mean? Okay, I'm going to give you an example. For example, uh, my skincare used to be a non-negotiable for me, okay? Um, everything else, like we're working out, if I work out five minutes a day, whatever I do, cool. But with skincare... In the morning time, and with skincare used to be non-negotiable, I'm doing all 11 steps, whatever it is. I don't think it's 11 steps. If y'all haven't seen my skincare video, it's going to be somewhere over here. But all those steps, I'm going to do every morning, right? But we're trying to introduce this routine into my um, schedule of doing it at night. At night, I think, you know what? Because as much as I love to do my skincare, um, it's better to do something than nothing at all. You get me? Anything is better than a zero. So instead of keeping it a non-negotiable in the morning and afternoon and at night what i do is i say at night okay what's what is it so on high energy days when i'm up and i'm functioning really really good then we do all the steps we go into that whole routine that i posted right on low energy days okay baby we're going to brush our teeth, we're going to wash our face we're going to maybe put on a serum and then we're going to put on some lotion and then we're going to go to bed because that's what I can do on a low energy day. It's not all the 10 steps, but it's what's necessary. That's what you want to think about because on those days, you're not going to always feel like doing it. And that's what breaks your routine. On those days where you go to sleep and you don't wash your face. And once you kind of start doing that, you start losing that habit. You start losing that habit of forming that. And what's really important, especially if you're watching this video, then I know you're struggling with the routine. And what I find is most important is when you have that balance, that base, that base of what I'm doing every day and making sure you make a habit of doing that every day, it's much easier to build out from that when you have that solid base. Okay. And as much in with the high energy, low energy, it provides you that uh, element of a variety you don't feel like you're locked in it's not anything that i'm doing the same thing every day no because you don't even have the energy to do it every day the same way but you're keeping that habit up that's what's really important okay and then the fifth thing is how are you holding yourself accountable in what way are you holding yourself accountable what i like to do is a daily tracker so i color in um the points and if i have a daily tracker i could put up here i will put up my daily uh a daily tracker there are plenty on canva so i'll put some options but i like to do those and i like to um print them out that's what i like to do print them out write fill it out and color in it every day i've seen people do calendars and where they put a smiley face and color it and that's how they know they did whatever step they wanted to do on their calendar. There are people who have planners. You could check it off on your planner. There's also, you could do it digitally, digitally because writing is not always like easy. Maybe you lose your planner or lose stuff all the time. Then boom, you ain't got nothing that you wrote down. So making that digital copy might be easier. It's less paper, saves paper. And that might be what you want to do because you could have it right there and you could always be checking it. Did I do this? Did I do this? Did I do this? You can also link in with a friend, have a friend, whatever way you do your accountability to the best, that's what you want to do, okay? And the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys, which really isn't a step, it's more so like a tip, okay? This is really, really like a bonus tip is when you fall off your routine, as some of us naturally do, we just have times we fall off, the winter time come, you sleepy, or it just doesn't work. That routine that you did before just doesn't work. You can follow these steps again. Maybe you need to reevaluate. Maybe now, I'm working out, you get me to lose weight is boring. I already got to the weight I want to be. So maybe that's not even important to you no more. So that's why it's not in your routine. Now you're feeling bad. Maybe you need to just work out to maintain the weight or work out because you want to tone. And that it adds a different type of thing to your schedule because that's going to impact your eating. Okay, and then I want to eat. A little bit different because I might want to gain some muscle and things like that and that's gonna affect your schedule so if you are falling off your schedule you need to look at two things with this 
you need to look how realistic your schedule is now or your routine is now for the lifestyle that you currently have. If it still works, if all those things you still want to do. And then also you need to look at, are you actually doing those low function days? Don't try that. What we do is sometimes is if I was working out twice a week, I was I was washing my face twice a day, like doing my routine. If I was reading three books a week, if I was doing all of these things, then I when I fall off my routine and I start back, I want to still be able to do those things. Right. If I was able to run a mile in 10 minutes, when I start back running, I want to be able to run a mile in 10 minutes. But that's not how it works. You didn't just wake up and have a routine. You get what I'm saying? You didn't just wake up and was able to run this much so just like you had to build up your endurance to get that just like you had to build up how i told y'all build up your daily schedule and then all the weeks and you know fill it in from there just like you're gonna have to do those things when you stop your routine you have to do that again maybe you're gonna have to start at your low functioning right maybe you're gonna have to come back to just okay making sure i don't focus on all, all this stuff i'm talking about weekly all this stuff that must that's monthly making sure you come back to that base routine of making sure i'm doing these things daily at least so i can get back to something you get what i'm saying don't try to don't try to rebuild everything okay at night because your routine wasn't just built up in one second in one go that is what I want to say. And that honestly is my last tip, you guys. I know this was a really quick video, but I've been into quicker videos because um, just like how I say on this schedule, that just works for me. I like how I edit them really quickly. And I think I get y'all the information that you need. Now, if you enjoyed this video, okay. If you like your um, like auntie tips that I gave you guys, if you in need of a, you know, an auntie or again, if you're auntie yourself, you feel me? Go ahead and share this video so other people can get these tips, you feel me? Go ahead and like this video. Most importantly, if you really, you get what I'm saying? If you really like liked it like that, like it. And the last and not least thing that you have to do, y'all already know what you got to do. You got to subscribe to my channel so you can grow with your girl. Am, am, so you can grow with your girl. Am, am, so you can grow with your girl. Break it down. Am, am, break it down. Am, am, am.